Good morning! I guess I'm just starting off this vlog. I really don't know what this is gonna be. So it's gonna be random little clips and updates. Um, just to kind of document this journey. But right now, I am 15 weeks and 4 days or 3 days? I can't remember. I'm pregnant right now. Oh my gosh, like... <laughs> It's just so crazy to say that, like I, I just cannot believe that still. The first few weeks, it was going excruciatingly slow. I think also because I found out on the 30th of December, um, the first few weeks was like that first like weird period in January where everything is like really slow. Everyone's just like easing back into life. And not a lot was going on, but life lately has been hectic, busy, every week just goes by so quickly and i don't know like i just keep saying i want to pick up my camera to film or pick up my phone to film and i just haven't had a chance to so right now while i'm just sitting here and having a moment to chill by myself i thought i would i'm not like feeling the best like yesterday i woke up with a very blocked slash runny nose and a sore throat I like did not get enough sleep last night and I thought I would update you guys on how it's going. I think life pregnant the past few weeks has been really, really good, really special. I personally just have loved this time with my friends and family. I didn't realize, I guess before getting pregnant, how much closer I would feel to my friends and family. Like. I feel like I have so much support. It's been really, really lovely. Like I feel like early in the middle of pregnancy, I really isolated myself from a lot of people just because I just like, I don't know what it was, but I was just so tired all the time. I had no motivation to literally like even message people back and I felt so bad, but I just remember feeling like I had no motivation to do anything at all in my life. I never wanted to get off the couch and even eating was like a chore. But now that I'm, like getting my energy back trying to be more intentional with my friendships and stuff and everyone has been so lovely so nice as i mentioned before i'm 15 weeks um the aim of like my first trimester i think for me personally was to really focus on myself i wasn't always feeling the best like i was just really exhausted a lot and there were a lot of days where i didn't have the appetite or like even really like water or liquids and stuff because i don't know if it was heartburn or just indigestion like i would just eat and drink and it would just like sit here and it was so uncomfortable so like my main goal for like the first trimester was to really focus on myself physically and mentally um spiritually really build myself up for this time and this journey that i was going to go on um i felt a lot of anxiety like i remember the first few weeks and i don't know if that was hormones or if that was just like me but now that it's 15 weeks i'm kind of shifting a little bit i feel like i'm a little bit more grounded and have a bit more of a foundation um compared to how i was in the first trimester when i was feeling super vulnerable and just like super all over the place and now i don't know like i feel super overwhelmed i personally feel a little bit behind and this is just me try like being really vulnerable like i am 15 weeks there's like 25 weeks left to my due date which sounds like a long time i just constantly keep getting really really overwhelmed i told myself last week i was like okay i'm gonna start researching different things like i'm gonna start researching prams cards car seats all those different things and i literally started with just a pram last week and i spent the whole week i just watched numerous youtube videos i went on different vlogs i watched tiktok videos on like reviews of like what pram to get and like i just felt so overwhelmed i felt like i was drowning because there's just like a billion brands of like prams and people like you know you have to get something that suits you but I, as a first time mom i don't know what i'm looking for i don't know if i want something lightweight or if i want something a bit more sturdy do i want something that transfers from a stroller to a car seat and i just remember like feeling like i was drowning last week because i was like girl this is literally just a pram like and you feel this way already do you know how much stuff we have to buy and Oh, I just felt really really like overwhelmed about like what to get for when baby actually comes I've just been reading pregnancy books labor books like how to labor and that was like all I was really focusing on for a while but now I'm like okay no we need to like switch gears a little bit and like really 
actually focus on when the baby gets here because I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I thought I did. I really, really thought I did. My sister was born when I was 18 and I just like looked after her and like was with her a lot for like the first five years of her life before I moved out. So I was like, okay, I got this. I got this down. But oh my gosh, like I watched so many day in the lives of like moms. There's so much terminology that they use and so many things that they talk about that I have literally zero idea about. That's where I'm at. I will update you guys later in the week or maybe like next week. Hopefully I figure some stuff out. But if anybody else has like, you know, as a first time mom, were you ever on this train? I feel like there's so much information out there. There's so many sources that you can learn from, but I never know what is legitimate and like what is right or not to like learn from. And I just personally feel, yeah, like really, really overwhelmed. Anybody has any advice on where to begin and what to do, please leave it down below in the comments because I will be the first to admit, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Friends, it is, I don't know what day it is. It's Tuesday, but I am currently 16 weeks pregnant. I am actually in my fourth month, which is crazy. It gets bigger later on in the day after I've eaten more, but this is it right now i'm currently home right now i'm working from home and this is the fit it is a gloomy day and it's just so nice to just be bundled up and cozy so in my last clip from last week when i was 15 weeks i was talking about how i was feeling so overwhelmed and i just didn't know where to start with all this baby stuff i posted about it on instagram actually and so many people so many moms reached out to me and like told me like what they did and they all gave me advice which was really really helpful kind of just like pulled myself together right now and like really tried to create a game plan for myself so my husband and i are gonna go to baby bunting this saturday which is what a lot of people have suggested they said go to baby bunting literally try out different prams different bassinets all these different things and look at the price range see it in person and then you can decide and narrow it down to what you want, which is gonna be perfect for us because things are really ramping up now and I'm feeling a bit of pressure. I also finished my pregnancy book like last week, which was so good. I've read like maybe three or four pregnancy books already so far. And I think I'm just like finished with like the pregnancy and labor books. I may pick up a labor book closer to my labor, but now I'm reading books on babies and actually how to deal with babies. One of my friends actually gave this to us. When we told them we were pregnant, we went over to their house to surprise them and they gave us a few books to um, read throughout this time. So this is one of them. It's called The Happiest Baby on the Block. It sounds like, I think by the way I'm reading it, it sounds like it's a very, very old book, but it's just basically about colic babies. I didn't even know what the word colic meant until I started reading it. Basically about babies who cry a lot and basically about how to soothe crying babies and all that. So oh, just reading this and kind of like speaking to like other mums about like this, this whole period, especially a lot of people like my age who, or just like people in general who like transitioned to being a first time mom in the past few years or so has helped me so much. I feel a lot more at ease with that. I'm like cooking chicken for my lunch. I don't know what it is, but this baby has just been craving a lot, a lot of meat. So I'm having either a chicken sandwich or I'm having like an avocado and chicken um, toast or something like that. I'm currently at home by myself, just working from home by myself, which has been like really, really nice. I've actually been in the office the past two days, but my husband is in the office right now and it feels very quiet and very lonely. He was also in the office on Thursday, so we've just kind of been missing each other. We're usually at home, like, completely together, but we have been missing each other, and it's really, really sad. I just feel like the house is so quiet, and it feels so lonely, but I miss him, and I'll see him later tonight. Another update, I have a whole crap ton of doctor's appointments this next month. I went to an antenatal appointment at the end of February, and they told me about all these appointments and things that I need to book in, and I have just been putting them off because the month of March was literally so hectic busy, and it was also just like a month for me to like get back into society, get back into socializing, and I didn't want to put too much pressure on myself um, booking all these appointments, but basically, I, I had put off so much, I literally have another antenatal appointment 
at the end of April, I have a doctor's appointment, um, which I will need to do as like my monthly GP check-in and also just like to get a referral for my 20 week scan. I'm gonna find out the gender of baby and I'm so excited because I haven't seen baby since seven, my seven week scan and this will be my first time seeing it like fully formed and everything. I'm a little bit nervous, but also just like more excited than anything and I'm just praying that everything goes well. And then my fourth appointment is I need to do a blood test. And unfortunately, the antenatal appointment lady told me that I need to do two gestational diabetes tests, which freaking sucks. I was hoping to somehow get out of the one that I need to do, like in my third trimester, but they said because I am Southeast Asian, I'm more prone to gestational diabetes, probably because of our diet and stuff, I don't know, genetics, but I have to do it twice. And I have to do that the same time as I do my blood test, which sucks. The last appointment is, oh, me and Ani both have to get immunizations before a bug comes. It's just a lot. We've been putting off a lot, but we were sitting down the other day and just like planning the next month of April and literally like it's just all appointments, all appointments, all appointments. Sorry, just flipping my chicken. I had to let myself feel too overwhelmed with everything. Um, I'm just trying to take everything each day as it comes and really trying to remember and trying to focus on what's important each day, which is basically to feed myself, to hydrate myself, take my vitamins, which I hate. And literally just take each day as it comes, not stress about the future or anything like that. Hey friends, it has been a while since I filmed. I am currently now 19 weeks and five days, which is so exciting. My little bump is definitely bumping. And it's currently Tuesday right now, and by Thursday, I will officially be halfway there. It is such an amazing milestone. What I've noticed is that I feel like I'm carrying fairly low. I feel like it's definitely down here. And when I feel Bob's kicks, it's always like down here. If you hear food cooking in the background, that's because I'm cooking some chicken. I was cooking chicken in my last update. Updates, oh my gosh. I definitely feel like I have more of a grip on this pregnancy. I think earlier in this vlog, I was talking about how like I was at 15 weeks and I just had no idea what to do with the baby. When the baby comes, I've just been reading pregnancy books up until that point. And I just was like freaking out about baby things. I have definitely push through that. I definitely feel like I've got more of a grip on things now. Around Easter weekend, me and my husband went into baby bunting and we picked out a stroller that we wanted. Um, I've also picked out a little bassinet that I want already and a car seat as well. So big wins for me because I'm literally just like, oh, like that's so relieving. The big three things that you definitely, definitely need are good. I also have some baby clothes. I'll show you guys in just a little bit. I've also just like taken on the advice of like other moms out there of like what you actually need for babies when you first have them. And honestly, there's not a lot. There's not a lot that you really, really need. Um, just like basic essentials. So we're gonna try to keep it as minimal as possible. If there's like lots of little extra things that we want that aren't necessarily necessary, I will put them on the baby registry for my baby shower. And if people wanna buy them for us, That'll be fine. Okay, I had to quickly change spots so I could talk to you guys again. Um, but I guess I just want to talk to you guys about how the past seven weeks have been in my second trimester. Um, so like, I guess like symptoms and just things that I've been experiencing, kind of just really taking it as it comes, like every single week. It has been such a journey. One thing I've really learned about pregnancy is that you cannot control everything. And as much as I'm like, usually I love being in control of like what my what I know my body does and everything. It's been such a journey, like learning to just surrender to the process and everything new that comes along. So let me just talk you guys through my personal journey so far and like how it's been going. Cause I know everybody's pregnancy symptoms are so different. I didn't have any nausea or any throwing up or anything like that the first trimester. Actually, I threw up, this is probably TMI, I threw up twice, but like it was mainly because I either ate something really, really bad or I had gastro that was going around in my friend group. The symptom that I got was just fatigue. I was literally horizontal 24 seven. And like now I feel like the exhaustion has definitely let up. I feel like my energy levels are not the same as what they were pre-pregnancy, but now I am just like, Oh, like the smallest things just tire me out, but it's fine. I'm very grateful that at least I'm not horizontal 24 seven like I was in my first trimester. I definitely feel like my 
belly is getting a lot bigger and I have been struggling a lot initially to like style for myself or just like what to wear every single day. In terms of my growing belly, I didn't realize how painful it would be sometimes. You get these round ligament pains and you get it like on either side of your uterus, like here or here. Oh my gosh, they're like these like really, really sharp cramps and they hurt. They're not every day, thankfully. Um, and like I only experience them like every now and then now, I think I really experienced it in week 13 and week 14. But every now and then, I really get this grinding pain in my hips and sometimes in my lower back. Oh, I'm so itchy everywhere. My freaking legs are so itchy and I've been scratching them, which is so bad. It just feels so, so good to scratch them. Scratching them to the point where they like bleed sometimes. It's so bad. I need to stop. But my belly is so itchy. My skin and my scalp is so dry as well. I have been having really, really good skin. Luckily, I think I broke out like week nine and week 10. But other than that, like my skin's been very clear. It's just been very dry. Oh my gosh. I keep getting a dead leg in the middle of the night. I don't know how to describe it. I feel like sometimes it's the way I lay down or like sometimes when I'm just like not hydrated enough throughout the day, I literally get these shooting pains up and down my legs in the middle of the night and that wakes me up. <sighs> it is painful. I never have like a full night's sleep anymore. Um, I've just like been woken up like every two, three hours just by my dead leg. Another thing is like I have like maybe earlier in my second trimester, I would get up to pee in the middle of the night, like every single night for like the f for like four weeks straight. It was so bad. First four weeks of that was so rough and it caused a lot of insomnia for me. And I have been having insomnia lately for the past week. It hasn't been good. Last night I had a really fantastic sleep. But before that, oh my gosh, like I was waking up at 5 a.m. every single day and I could not for the life of me go back to sleep. Overall, this is definitely a more enjoyable part of pregnancy than like the first trimester. But the second trimester has just, it's just so funny. Like, I don't know how to describe it other than the fact that it's funny to me. Like, I'm just like not in control of my body. I need to pee whenever I need to pee. To me, it's just like, it is what it is. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I didn't say this. The last thing that I wanna say is I started feeling my baby's movements like before the 18 week mark, but I have just been feeling my baby move like every single day. It is so, freaking special like i can't even describe this feeling it just makes it all so real i'm just like chilling here on the couch and like i will like i don't know just have eaten lunch or something and then it wakes up and it just starts moving in my belly it's literally like just the most surreal feeling i don't even know how to describe it that has been my favorite part of pregnancy so far feeling its little kicks and movements every single day and i can feel it getting stronger every single day before i go i want to show you guys all the baby clothes that we've gotten so far these up here are things that we haven't gotten hangers for a lot of these are gifts as well moms have always recommended to me just getting a lot of a lot of basic things you don't really need things because you'll be at home with baby a lot of the time when it's firstborn but so far because we don't know the gender everything Thing is like very gender neutral this is also gifts from family but that is the update that i have um i think i'm gonna end the vlog here i hope you guys really enjoyed this thank you so much for watching and coming along um if you are a mom or a first time mom pregnant as well like comment down below and like we got this we're doing this together amen have a great day bye